Hello everyone. Um, so we are meeting again for the second session, as we promised. Uh, so this I have named as learning environment through questions. Uh, you know, last one class got over. In that, uh, we studied about that in a particular country in South American continent, all the glaciers has been lost, or we can say its status has been reduced to ice field, right? So uh, you can see this, just a minute. Yeah. See, the, these are the questions uh, I have made related to the previous video. Achha. So, us video se me pehle discuss kar diya, like how, which country is that? So, these are the questions. And uh, below this video, in the link, in the comment section, I'll also connect the previous video, okay? So, uh, is question say, uh, answer kya? You know, answer, what is the answer of this question? Kya hai? So, we all know that if you have watched the previous video, you know that it is Venezuela. And similarly, see this, what are the impacts of losing glacier? So, it has been clearly discussed in the previous video. You can watch that. So, now, uh, these are the questions for this video, okay? So, today we will begin a new topic. It's not pura naya hai. So, it's a bit connected to the uh, pehle video. So, uh, in that video, I have already said that we will be discussing connecting it to the geographical portions, the various landforms, okay? The glacial landforms, glacier classifications. Um, you have to keep one thing in mind. See, may pura landforms, this video may, uh, you know, uh, discuss karne ke liye time nahi hai. Na? So, I will be doing only few landforms. The rest, you can follow it in the next uh, new module, uh, which I have introduced. It is uh, the Geography NCRT module. There also you will find uh, connected to this topic in some module, you will find the relations, okay? Continuation of this topic, okay? So, today, as you can see that, uh, you know, what are uh, sometimes they may ask because see this question has been asked in UPSC mains twice. Okay. So in 2021 and 2020, uh, properly I don't remember the year, might be in 2019 to 2021. Two questions has come highlighting the impact of losing glacier. So, ek time, oh, Pucha, if you lose glaciers, the Antarctic glacier, what will be the impact? Uh, you know, dusra time kya pucha? So they have asked like this, if you are losing, uh, you know, this kind of uh, Himalayan glaciers, what will be the impact on the river systems? Okay, so this was the question, which was already asked in mains, UPC mains. So that is uh, more possibility of asking this are associated with that. They may ask about the landforms related to glaciers. <laughs> So, uh, okay, T. Uh, see, there are a lot of confusions. Every previously, uh, we used to call all those mass of ice as glaciers. So, why we give different names? Are there is any difference between this? That's the question. So, first we should know what are called glaciers, right? See this glaciers. It forms when Snow accumulates one after the others. Uh, I think uh, janta hoon that if you have seen the snowfall, okay, when you see the snowfall, it will be like, um, you know, uh, the cotton balls falling over, very smooth. And this snow falls and every year, you know, the during winter, continuous uh, snowfall can happen and every year it accumulates. And what happens over the period, the air within this snow gets reduced. You can see this in the figure. So 50% air, 20 to 30% because more snow starts to deposit over it. So year after year, right? So now this compacted ice where there is less air pockets is called as glaciers, right? So that is why I said that 
there should be and you know for this to happen if this has to take place there should be continuous snowfall in winters and summer temperature should not be higher such that uh, the ice melts okay so these are the favorable conditions for uh, formation of glaciers okay and uh, as you can see this see this sorry let me move this ah, see uh, this this is a condition which we have talked about high snowfall in winter high snowfall in winter and low temperatures in summer yes High snowfall in winter and low temperatures in summer. This, this is what I said. That will ensure the snow accumulates in winter is not lost during the summer. So you can see snow, uh, you can see glacier formations uh, in regions like Alaska in higher latitudes. Okay. Konsa um, konsa place have the snowfall deka. You can see it in higher latitudes also and in higher altitudes also you will be seeing snowfall. So there is possibility of formation of glaciers at both latitudes and you know higher altitudes. Higher latitudes and higher altitudes. That is why they have mentioned areas like Alaska, Patagonia, Himalayas. Nice place. So there is possibility to give importance to this point. You can see in latitudes and higher elevations. Right? Then uh, we will come to the different names given for the glaciers. Like sometimes we call it as an ice field. Sometimes we call it as uh, icebergs. Okay. So what is the difference? We should know that. Yes. Yes. See this. So first let me begin with the ice sheet. What is called ice sheet? I hope you can see this figure. See this. It's a mass of glacial ice. Okay. That means, uh, you know, a glacier. That's Bahut Bada glacier. Or Bada area se cover hogi. You can say like that. That means uh, more than 50,000 square kilometers. If the glacier ice extends in the continental area. Okay. So you have to remember like that. In the continental area. And you can see this, and it extends more than 50,000 square kilometers. We call this a side sheet. Abhi wo do area mein ice sheet hai. Okay? So, in, in world, that is in earth, there are in two areas where ice sheets uh, we can see. One is in Greenland. Okay? Uh, o dusra wo Antarctic continent mein hai. Ko dono o bada ice sheet hai. Okay? So, iska, uska area wo uh, 50,000 square uh, kilometers se jada hai. Okay? So, then we call it as a ice sheet. Right? So, it's a mass of glacial ice. Uska niche, that is below 50,000 square kilometers, wo pura uh, types of glacial formation, we call that simply as glaciers only. Even then, we can also differentiate it by different names. Let me erase this. See this. Just a minute. Yes. See, you can see this. Ah. Okay. So, come to this. Ice cap. So, this is the next topic. Ice cap. So, ice cap, like ice sheet, it is a mass of a glacial ice, I said. Uh, spread over more than 50,000 square kilometers. But ice cap means kya hai wo? Oh, it's a dome-shaped glacier, you know. It, it looks like a dome. Huh? It's a dome-shaped glacier. And the area should be less than, so keep this in mind, area should be less than 50 square kilometer. Okay. So, they are called as ice caps. Where, uh, ka ka ha wo, uh, you know, uh, they ka, ice cap, where and all you can see ice cap? You can see them in high latitudes, polar areas, subpolar mountain regions. You can see even in Himalayas, we have ice caps. Okay, we have ice caps. Himalayas may hai. Then uh, another term, you can see this is ice field. So see, ice field. What are called as ice, ice field? As this figure, you can see it is here. See this? This is ice field. Okay, so... Uh, where you can see that it's similar to an ice cap, but uh, what is the difference? What is the difference between ice cap and an uh, ice 
फील्ड आइस फील्ड इज बिट स्मॉलर देन आइस कैप कैन सी उसका थोड़ा स्मॉलर है स्मॉलर ओके छोटा है लैकिंग अ डोम लाइक शेप सो इट डस नॉट हैव अ डोम लाइक शेप एंड स्मॉलर देन आइस कैप सो कंपेयर टू एन आइस कैप आइस फील्ड इज मोर स्ट्रॉन्गली इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय द यू नो अंडरलाइन टेरेन मींस द अर्थ वेयर इट इज लाइंग ओके सो दिस इज वन सच थिंग वी कैन से एंड नेक्स्ट वी कैन गो टू द नेक्स्ट टर्म ओके सो व्हिच एज वी हैव सीन ऑलरेडी सी दिस next if i want to explain one more term in this uh then uh, i may talk about icebergs oh icebergs means kya hai wo see wo oh, chota chota ice hai that means it got segregated break okay so breaks from glaciers and they float over water okay so the ocean water you will be seeing the uh our seas you can see the icebergs so it's a larger chunk of ice and if this iceberg is larger than 5 meter na na so if it is uh, 5 meter se jyada hai we call it as an iceberg uska uske niche size we call it as a growler okay so we call, give two names iceberg means uh, 5 meter ke 5 uh, meter or 5 meter se jyada wo bada hai but if it is smaller we call it as a growler and it is it is not safe for the ship right so now we'll uh, see this next okay so now we have seen different classification of glaciers uh abhi hum dekha right so we have discussed about those things that different uh you know classifications of glaciers there are also different landforms who glaciers you know have made different landforms different landforms so bana hai glaciers are banana banana hai we can say so what are those different types of um uh, landforms very few we will discuss here uh, rest as i promised we will be discussing uh, associated with the uh, ncert module okay so you can see this cirque sorry yes so it is this figure you can see this it's a bowl shaped glacier occupying the mountain region okay so uh, it looks very beautiful oh bahut sundar hai if you go and see it directly and uh, you know it is very wider also so these are called as cirque glaciers and then we'll go to the next term called as yes see this valley glaciers can you see this it's a tongue shaped glacier flowing down from the mountain towards the valleys you know if there is a mountain there will be a valley and now uske niche valley hai so from mountain mountain se valley se is glaciers flow karne hain so it looks like a uh, tongue shaped you know bigger tongue like this sometimes it even touches the sea and uh, so that much big glacier it is we call this a valley glacier see this figure which is here you can see it clearly see sorry this one sorry that might be some <laughs> just a minute yes sorry for the inconvenience see this uh you can see uh, these this the, these are called as valley glaciers okay these are a cirque type of glaciers and uh, you know this is also called as hanging glacier if it is not in the shape of bowl and it simply flows from top it's called hanging glacier uh i think up uh, you know a term called hanging valley and i would have heard right uh, so what is meant by hanging valley if this particular glacier melt completely and when it is barren and when it is left barren like this this side you can see these are called as hanging valleys okay so yes so like this 
these are called as valley glaciers and also we have seen about hanging glaciers these are hanging glaciers and hanging valleys three terms we have seen in this then we will go to the next uh, term you can see this piedmont glaciers okay so what are called as piedmont glaciers uh, piedmont glaciers means it's like same how the mountain glaciers run into valleys but they form bulb like lobes you can see like this it will be like this they will form so these are called as piedmont glaciers oh it's called now uh, piedmont day. and uh, it's got thoda uh, you know uh, different we call it as a tide tide water glacier that means they are also valley glaciers only but it touches and reaches the sea if if this valley glaciers reaches the sea we call it as a tide water glacier so this tide water glacier na wo uh, uh, numerous icebergs uh, banate hain okay so they will uh, make small small icebergs they will cut they will split or uh, segregate then they will float over the ice so this is called as tide water glacier okay so yes so these are some of the different uh, uh, you know landforms formations apart from this ana oh jada uh, term say landforms ke liye you know if you want to study about landforms uh, then there are a lot of terms you have to study like uh, uh, i can say drumlins okay drumlins are there okay so then uh, we can also come about till till uh, are you know glacier till we call it as okay so like this there are a lot of terms even hans we can come across ads okay so this and all we will be discussing in our uh, another module when we are doing glacial landforms we will be discussed there okay so follow that huh, for more information okay tk so that's all about the types and formations this much is enough oh itna wo bahut kafi hai just let me yes so uh, now it's time we have to see about uh, the questions we what we have made because i already ana i told you um that this module is completely learning environment through mcqs not only mcqs through questions okay mains questions mcqs we will make we will connect uh, you know a basic portion will take any topic you will take or some current affairs topic we will take we will make questions we will discuss here okay so now yes acha so we'll go to the first uh, you know slide uh, where we will see the questions you know here for this portions let us see discuss the questions now the first mcq you can see this this type of questions will often appear no in upsc so glaciers consider following statements glaciers are formed when snow accumulates for longer periods glaciers are found in higher latitudes only by advancing and retreating glaciers are constantly in motion no three three statement hai three statement mein uh, question wo uh, kya pucha questions question se so you can see that which of the above statements is or are correct ha na so wo uh, kya sahi hai wo um, from the above statement ha na uh, upar statement ke liye kya kya sahi hai so that's a question so now you see this uh, this one is right we all know that yes glaciers are formed when snow accumulates for longer periods you know it then glaciers are found in higher latitudes only that is wrong because we can find in higher altitudes also in himalayas we will found glaciers by advancing and retreating glaciers are constantly in motion that is right they do okay glaciers move continuously even it may be a ice sheet or uh, you know it, uh, it can be a, a ice cap our ice field they move which of the above statements are correct so this is one pattern of upsc one only is correct two only is correct all the three are correct okay so we can say that only two are correct so even in the options there is a, a small mistake so here it should be a none but anyhow it, it doesn't matter only two statements are correct so two only right then come to the next question see this yes so let us first erase these things see this hmm. 
consider the following match ice cap a dome shaped gla glacier okay ice, ca ice cap is a dome shaped glacier uh okay yes piedmont glacier is a bowl shaped glacier no we have already discussed Anna? so what we have said piedmont is not a bowl shaped glacier it's a valley glacier which is flowing into the uh, sorry it's a uh, yeah it's a a uh, mountain glacier which is in the mountain which is flowing into the valley a valley glacier which extends like a bulb shaped and so this is piedmont glacier a bowl shaped glacier is a cirque then valley glaciers giant tongue shaped glaciers slipping down valleys that is right icebergs they are floating chunks of ice they are right so only the wrong statement oh galat hai and piedmont glacier oh galat hai so that means uh either this option, C option is uh, right, right? So now come to the mains question. There is a possibility of asking a question like this. What are called glaciers and how they are formed? How glaciers get formed? And different, discuss about different glacial landforms. Any way, any small terms, even they can take a glacier and they can give it. They can compare it with the another thing and they can ask glacier, what is the difference between a glacier and this and that? And so like this, there might be a possibility of asking a question. Acha. Students, so no, so is this, sorry, this type we are going to, or is pattern we are going to, uh, you know, discuss our uh, other topics you now in the forthcoming days. So we will frequently meet and for other topics which may be related to current affairs or it can be taken from any standard uh, or basic topic of environment. Okay, so I am introducing. Another uh, module also. Dusra module is uh, you know, NCRT module, geography NCRT module. Uh, oh, you know, it is going to help you in many ways for your mains exams, for your uh, preliminary exams. So what I have did in that module is that I have taken a topic, you know, in that topic, I have connected all the NCRTs starting from 6th to 12th standard and other government, uh, you know, exams books I have taken, I have compiled uh, the points related to that topic and uh, given for you. Oh. So you can watch that also, right? So we'll meet again. Thank you all.